I'm starting this video off here. I'm hoping this will work. Core, put your foot up. Put your foot up. We're going to saran wrap Cora's little foots. And this is my Holland um, Around the World Inspirations. What I wanted to do was I was inspired by Holland's wooden shoes. And, of course, I'm not a carver. And I thought I'd try to make my own shoe for this. <laughs> Thanks, Cora. I'm not doing a great saran wrap job. Let's try this again. Okay, so, and so we are trying to do it. There, so I'm going to try to saran wrap her foot just so that it slips out easily, I'm hoping. That's my plan. And probably could use some tape, but saran wrap sticks to itself, so I'm going to add more. So what I want to do is I made some paper paste, um, like paper mache, glue, and paper and water. And so I'm going to make a shape of a shoe here. So I got the recipe. What I did was I just put glue, water, glycerin, and some flour as I was mixing to make it more pasty. Put your foot up, please. Right. So I'm going to make bottom of the shoe, I'm hoping here. And I am videoing it. And we're going to put the foot down. Well, it's cold. <laughs> and we're gonna I'm gonna try to form the shoe around here. This is just a test. I'm hoping that this works so we can use this. Shoot! Shoo shoo. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna So I'm just going to try this crazy idea. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to try to form this shoe with this foot's in it. So I don't know how long of the video I have on my phone, but I didn't want to do this downstairs. It's not going to work on the table. So I don't have to leave. I can leave an opening that's pretty big on here. Form the shoe. To do at least, right? <laughs> I just need to use a chair here. Chair. Can you see good still, Chloe? <laughs> Where is it? Alright, slowly try to take your foot out. So here is the shoe so far. Stop. Okay, so this is the beginnings of the shoe. I'm hoping that I can get the other part of my video up that I have on my bone I think it will work so what I'm using is a bone folder I don't know where my other one is but this one here and I'm just shaping it now I made this um, paper pulp this is recycled paper from um, just the neighborhood you know the, the and I keep all the flyers and that's what this is so it's all recycled and I thought well instead of carving because I'm not a carver I was going to do this, kind of a try this, and I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping it works. I might have to stick something in there. I'm not sure if I have to stick a bunch of plastic in here or not. If I do, I'm going to grab some plastic, okay. and I can throw them in there for keeping the, the foot shape that Cora had in there. 
and that kind of thing. I'm going to kind of want to see how far our coarse foot went in there maybe. It's going to crack a little bit, but I just want to get it where I can actually shape it again without having to keep it on her foot. So what I'm going to do is use a couple of shopping bags from Walmart or Safeway or wherever to keep that in so I, it's safe from falling apart on me. So I can shape with some pressure without hollowing it out too much. Here is the original actual shoe from Holland. This is not a decorative shoe. This is actually a used shoe. So um, my mother-in-law is Dutch. So that's where hmm, I get the shoe from. So I'm going by that design. Um, and like I said, I'm just going to do a recycled paper shoe. Now, I think the part to make it look really realistically wooden might be difficult. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just going to keep playing with it. Just like I did my other projects um, and shaping it. I could take some off if I feel like it's too much. I could add more, whatever. So that's just my, what I'm gonna do. So it's just playing with it. I'm dipping a little bit of water, um, my um, bone folder in a little bit of water and smoothing it out. So it's really acting like a clay. And that's it, I, it's all right now paper. So we'll see if this works. So like I said, just did that um, kind of a fill of Cora's foot in there. Now, like I said, now I'm just kind of filled it up with paper bags. It doesn't have to, of course, fit a foot um, after the whole thing's said and done. I just wanted the shape, the proper shape. And that's why I used Cora's foot. I wanted to have like a feel of a shoe. But it is just going to be like an ornament type of thing, ornamental. It is large, and I could just do a small one, but I'm just, I wanted to try it on Jackson's foot, but he was not cooperative. He's just too young to not want to move. So I'm hoping this will work. We can add paper pulp. So it's a paper mache shoe with paper pulp paste, uh, whatever it's called. Um, recycled paper. And like I said, I just, there's recipes um, online. I put glue, I mixed glue, um, I mixed uh, some glycerin in here and and then to get, because it was really soppy and once I mixed it all up, I added some flour and kept kneading it, like folding it and kneading it like as if it was like bread or something and until it was just this kind of consistency because it was really wet when I did the warm water and the glue and I mushed it together and then to soak up soak up some of the moisture like I said I wanted to have a little flour in there so I just put white flour like regular white flour. So let's see how that works. It's a little different. And I didn't really measure. I just did it to how it felt like a dough. So there's lots of recipes out there. So if you guys want to find a recipe, I'm not good with following recipes. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep shaping my shoe. And I noticed that they do go up a bit, so I'm trying to make it go up. I'm trying. I was taking a little bit away from the shoe because I had so much. Oops. 
so much uh, paper on there. I don't need it too thick. I just need it. Need it too thick to dry, but I do need it to look realistic. And then we could paint it after. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take to dry, guys. I might throw it in the oven to help it along. Considering my projects, I want to make the video finish everything. Okay, so that's the beginning of my shoot. Well, I might have to come up higher. That's the fun of it. Playing around. I'm going by kind of this shoe right here. And you can see how neat. Like you can see that someone really wore it. And you can see it's nice and smooth inside from. And you can see how it's more open on this side even too. Because this is the inside of the ankle part here. Pretty cool. Um, my husband's grandfather, from when they they came here with their like his mom and siblings, um, they still wore their shoes when they were in the garden, their wooden shoes in BC. That's where they moved to when they moved to Canada here. And uh, so the kids got to experience the, their grandchildren, their grandma and grandpa wearing them in the garden. That's pretty cool. I think it was the Oma and Opa, I think that's what I can't remember if that's what he called them. <laughs> I've never got a chance to meet them. But they had a big Dutch windmill in their garden. And my mother in law actually has a big Dutch windmill in her front yard. And she quite likes the garden too, but they had a huge, huge garden. I have no saying. And I just love the garden. My father, my dad who raised me, was uh, from Brussels. And he was telling the stories that he wore his wooden shoes to school. And... Um, Taught, remind, he remembered the sounds of the clickety clock, the clock, you know, on the on the cobblestone. And he was telling me how every, I don't know what day it was, it was Saturday or Sunday, I can't remember. Once a week, they would clean the front of their every house would clean the cobblestone in front of their their place where they lived. The road so was pretty cool. Get together and. All had to clean their their area. Thought that was kind of a cool community thing to do. Everyone was responsible. So this one here is got. I'm making this shoe a little bit. Um, I don't know which foot she had in here. She had this foot. So I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have to try to make the shoe a little bit. If I want to kind of make this design, I gotta make it a little bit down. How it comes down in here, make it a little realistic. <laughs> and I'm going to make it, I'm really going to have to form this, but this is going to take a while, guys. So I don't know.
Okay, friends, here I go. I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm kind of going to try to do a design to make sure you guys know it's a shoe from Holland. So I'm going to paint a nice windmill on here. So I'm going to... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint a nice windmill. Just like this. Try my best here to portray a windmill. I'm having a hard time seeing pictures, so I'm trying at a distance here see what it would look like. Maybe I need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> so here's my windmill so far. Okay. Um I'm going to grab a little bit of green to put on here. I've got a couple of tones of green, so I'm just going to do that. Try to do a little scenery here. A windmill. So the also, I'm going to need some black. I'm getting some paint here ready. I uh, should I put, I was like, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Now, I've got the red kind of building part here. So, I'm just going to go like that. Get the uh, windmill parts going. And I'm thinking I should have probably painted some of the background a little bit over here before I've done that part. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh no, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? So I might have to just kind of be very careful and go around that here. So I'm going to, I'm guessing I'm doing my shoe yellow because I was going to go red, but then I'm like, well, I want to do a nice red windmill. So let's do a little bit of a yellow um, background. There's also some with a kind of like a little cloudy scenery on them and everything's like red. So it's kind of like what do you want to do for that? But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of color in the background here and then just go over it with some design. And that's kind of kind of be my thing. I want you guys to know it's a windmill. So I'm gonna do some outlining on the building to make sure. It looks like a windmill and it's I'm still kind of just being really, it's a little damp, but that's okay, because I'm just kind of figuring out, trying to figure out what, how I'm working on it. So, so it's kind of just like, maybe I made the windmill pieces too small. I don't know. So I'm just kind of going with that. And there's a windmill. There, my friends, is a windmill. So. I don't know. It might be, it's not quite, you guys are so far away too. It's not quite a clear. Um, picture, but 
But I don't have a clear picture to go off of, so that's my problem. Which I'm kind of doing a little bit of a waterfront here, because that's what's on my Google. It's one of these little yellow shoes, but it's just at an angle, so I can't see it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a waterfront. And I'm trying to just do that. And with what I could see, <laughs> that's what I'm doing to you. So I think there's a bit of a reflection of the tree. Teeny reflection of the windmill. So there we go. I'm going to kind of pull some of that out. Now we're just going to deal with the shoe being yellow everywhere now. So I'm going to probably switch the, to a larger paintbrush after this here because I think I got all the details that I want in there. I'm hoping that helps make it look more like a let's grab some more paint <laughs> like a hole in shoe whoa flying paint not good there we go So I'm just going to go over it everywhere here. I've got a couple more designs that I can see that I'm going to paint on. Um, on one of these little googly pictures here. And there is um, white, red, and um, yellow. There's one pair of orange shoes that are really cute. I went with yellow, the yellow one I can see here. The orange is so small on the Google. So and I'm going to have to paint the heel in too if you guys recall I messed that up. Um that's okay. Just gonna kind of maybe make it look like it's I don't know. I might add grass leaves or something like a painting them. Like as if it was, I don't know, on the ground. I might just to make it look a little different. Because it's not a real wooden shoe. So I really messed that up too, even for the look. So, still feeling guilty about that, guys. But that's okay, I guess. We'll see how we can fix it up. I'm getting paint everywhere today. Everywhere. So I'm just going to get the inside yellow, although I'm planning for it to be a little either faux planter. I might make a nice faux plant for it. Um, I think so, but we'll see. Okay, so I am now just trying to go over. Making sure, oops, I'm pulling at my cords here. Making sure I got all of the yellow that I need, where I need it. There's a few designs I want to get um, around the front here. Nice. Blue flower right here on this side. So you guys are going to turn it so you guys can see. It's a little bit of a darker blue. And oh, one, two, three, four, five, six petals on that thing. Let's see how many petals I'm going to get on here. One, two, three. I think I'm going to get five on here. Four, five. I'm going to have to do a second coat. So that's it's a little bit different. But that's okay. I'm not sure on this side what they have. So I'm going to put a little, just a little flowers here. One, two, 
three, four, five, just like that. It's a little one version of what I was going to put. Add some swirlies here. Adding a couple of swirlies, which they have really nice ones. I'm kind of messing them up. <laughs> but I'm adding some swirls. Um, there is a really nice swirl here. I'm just going to try to paint it comes around and up here like that and it kind of just ends right at the toe and you guys can't see that I have to change brushes it's kind of a large brush so I'm thinking probably have to have a little Well, here somewhere. And I'm not sure. I might just put a couple little swirls here. There. And these flowers were outlined in um, black. See, now making a mess. I'm going to go over this flower a bit here. These flowers were outlined in black. So I'm hoping it looks more like a Holland shoe. And... Here we go. Kids are sure making a lot of noise upstairs. There we go. I'll have to re -go, go over it blue and thin out that black as well. It's very, the flower's very big. The flower is very big. More delicate flowers is probably what I should have done. They are quite childlike on there, but not like whimsical. They're not like any fancy type of flower. Now let's see if I can make this look a little more realistic. I'm not sure if they have even a white on there, so I might have to throw in the white. I'm trying to make this windmill look a little bit more cozy there <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm doing with it I'm trying to make it look just a little bit more like naturally there and there's also kind of a blue cloud in the background of this um, I'm just gonna go with it with white I don't know what it looks like on this side because I can only really see this part of the shoe here. So I'm just kind of doing my own thing now. It's not all painted white here. I'm just going to add a little bit of, but it's actually yellow background, but I want to add a little bit of blue and white to my sky because I want to now. Some of them have that. Some of them have like a little puffy cloud of just the little scenery of the sky. So I'm going to add that just because some of them do. I'm going to like that. There we go. I hope it looks a little bit like a Holland shoe now. I'm trying to get that look of 
They have a bird there. <laughs> Try. It's a little on the blurry side. I might have to redo the the um things. These things. Don't know. They have three on all of them. Nope, they have four on some of them. It must be just the angle it has. So maybe I should put another one in. I don't know, guys. Just put one here. There, we have four. But these ones, this one has three for some reason. I'm guessing this is the whole side view of it. But it just, I added another one. There we go. I think we're done, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're done. So this is my design of the place. And I hope you guys like it. I hope you try it out. I can't see the picture very good, so I'm trying to make like a, what, something's there, like a door or something here. And I could probably get a better, closer look on a different picture. But... And there we go. I think that's it for me today. Hope you guys like this project. Why is it so blurry for you guys? I suppose it's really too far away. Here is my windmill shoe. i am actually got to fix this. So this is really was bugging me. I'm going to fix it right now. The part where I really messed up is right here. Um... The shoe tends to have like a heel. So I'm going to paint that in. Paint the heel in. I don't know how I messed that up. So what I'm going to do is just go like that, paint it in, and probably have to <laughs> paint a few pieces to make it look more curved. Just like that. <laughs> Disguise it. It looks a little bit better now. Disguise it to look more like a shoe from home. I like that. And got the whole front there going. And I think I'm going to throw a few pieces of, of um, grass in here. Like I said before, just to Do the same thing the other side. I'm gonna add a little heel here. Make it look like the proper shoe. That's what should have went in there. We should have had a little bit of a heel built in there. I wasn't really thinking of that. Terrible, huh? And there we go. Make the shoe kind of go up. So there we go on that side. Actually, I'm not sure if I like the grass. I might take that off now that I put it there, but it's there for now. We'll see how I like it after. I just don't know. Looking at it, it's really hard to make a decision. So...
but if I lighten it up and add um, highlights to it, it might look better. I might like it better. So we will see. Could do some nice tulips. <laughs> we will see. I hope you guys like that project, guys. Here's the other side of the shoe. So I'm not sh too sure. <clears throat> on the grass yet. And I'm just trying to paint one here. That's something I can cover if I don't like, so I'm kind of just throwing it on there right now. And I can go back to yellow if I don't like. So I'm not sure about that. We'll see. See how I like it. So, here is, I got a black spot. My shoe. Just trying to define it a little bit more. I put a little ledge around here. So, see how that worked for me. Just doing a little bit of a Lip. I put it in there. Like I said, I can always cover it up. <laughs> it's a big shoe. <laughs> it's going to be a cute little planter. That's what I'm going to turn it into. Little planter. Okay, it's quite wet. Here we go. Here's the shoe. This is the result of my Holland painted homemade paper mache shoe. And I, I really enjoy it, and I'm glad I painted the healing because now it looks a little bit more better. Um, I like the windmill. It's very cute. There it is. I hope you guys like that. Added some whimsical to it. And, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. And then try it out, man. That was really fun, you guys. It was so fun. So, it took a little more imagination to kind of work it. But it worked out. Bye.